right, here's the plan for this guy because this whole thing was just just gone here so we're gonna take this heavier gauge piece of uh, steel here and we're gonna clean it up a little bit better and we'll weld that in on up here in the top section a little bit and it'll be wrapped back around and get all this here cleaned up and we'll try to get a piece reattached here onto the bottom I'll make a new new piece of this right here I'll make a template out of there or at least get the get this one part put in and then mark the mark the hole anyway so I gotta have the whole the whole placement for the seat here so well, that's the plan anyway I'll mark it and give a little notch right in there it's no big deal it's gonna be the under piece and I still gotta weld a piece across the back right here that mounts to the side right here like the other side has it's got the ear over there see the hole right there and you can see the ear sticking out so I gotta make something like that too which won't be too hard right. at least that's the idea for this still gotta drill the holes put the, nut, put the plate in from underneath and nut and bolt it and then run the regular bolt in through there for the belt so that won't be too hard still gotta drill out the holes up here for the for the seat too so I still got a pocket right here on this one because I was gonna fab so I was thinking about cutting that whole section out and welding a new nut in there I wasn't sure what I was gonna do yet all right on to the next part okay this could be the next piece of our puzzle here through the piece right here where the seat bolted down of course you know there's no getting this free so we got a nice bigger upgraded piece here that's gonna go right in here like so and we'll get it all cleaned in and welded before I cut that out I actually got this lined up over the top of it and I do have a little forgiveness since this nuts floats a little bit so I was able to mark it first so we know it's gonna be in the right position when we get it welded in then we'll get her trimmed up here on the sides maybe nip it roll it down a little bit or something here I got the piece over there for the other side I still got to do but still working on this mess here and we got it at least uh, back together since there was nothing left I still gonna need some welding I mean that piece there actually keeps uh, the little coil, coil spring steel cap on since uh, the little plug that holds it on is pretty much rusted away so at least that will keep it together a little more welding on that and this is uh, the heavy gauge piece of steel same same stuff here that this come from so okay that's how that's gonna be got all the new hardware I got all new nuts and bolts and everything all over there for the for the seat belt and the I got all the new new bolts and nuts for this too so all right, let's keep at her. Okay, now we got the, the new uh, mounting brackets there for the seat. So, you know, need to be. Boom, boom. Got locked down in there. So these are a little bit bigger bolts than what was on Air Factory, but they're not going anywhere. Uh, piece is a pretty good tug and they are not budging so I said well is on the front well is on the you know three sides at least so yeah we'll go with that and 
got the holes all drilled and saying we're working on this one still so I do a little more welding on him getting close to doing the test fit on the seat and hopefully it lines back up we have seatage figured uh, did all this work I better get her in make sure everything lines up before I get too carried away Jibber jobbers worked out real nice. Got some faded bolts holding down the seat now. Instead of those other things, we got some bolts back here now. Instead of the big old Allen wrench type uh, bolts that were there, those are going to be a lot easier to get out later on in life. So, got the other side put together. Everything clears. Good room under the seat still. So yeah. Tim, uh, get the seat back out and fix these holes right here. Get her all sealed and or all painted up and all sealed and should be ready to get the carpet put back in and all that good stuff. So. Thanks for watching. Okay, we got the spots marked on both sides. Let's see what this one here already had a hole rusted through from the spot weld there, so we just utilized that. Rounded it out. I'm just uh, nothing uh, lock washer, not nothing bolt lock washer. This on. It's going to be on the underside, so. There's no way, as long as this is secured, so I can get the, the hole stays lined up, so I can put the seat belt bolt back in. This piece won't pull through here. There ain't no way. So, and if it does, I might as well be dead, because that's going to be a hell of a crash. Uh, yep. And it'll be like that on the bottom, and then that'll be ready to go. Cut got a strip back there that we're going to weld into the first uh, first run of holes there and we'll get into that I'm scraping on that down there trying to figure out what I'm going to do with that mess I'm trying to get it all cleaned up and okay Let's keep at it Okay, another full day in here now. Call it quits my time. Got to think about dinner, but so we got the uh, the back piece here all uh, welded and fixed. It's running through, and we got the the bolts there for the for the seat belts. And then just lock washered them through there. I might have to clearance the the ends of the bolt sticking out on the other side we'll look into that a little bit later on so with the exception of uh, needing to deal with uh, that there pretty much got the the inside pretty much ready to go this is all still kind of wet so no point in putting the seat or any of that stuff back in here anyway so we can get her all smeared and sealed and so we got the backside pretty much all cleaned up and sprayed really heavy so hopefully uh, that'll stop the, the welds from rusting until I can come back the next day or so and get that coated with something but all in all she's coming along the pile hasn't really gotten any smaller I mean a few scraps reiterated back into this mess Yeah, she's looking good. Rocks, Peoria. Jewelry stores all over. Talk about huge selections and low prices and great values. And all right, you guys. Thanks for watching. And then I would have put the seat belt in, but I said the paint's all wet. So. Till the next installment. Oh, well, tough.